you to tell me the truth. So I'm going for class to get casual. Now I'm thinking it's more like first day of Bible college. The survey says? You look very nice. Nice. Huh. What are you all gussied up for? My date. Favorite car? 66 Chevelle SS. All right. Beverage of choice? Whatever it is, there's too much caffeine in it. <laughs> Do we really have to do this? Yeah. Skylar Joplin likes and dislikes? We totally do. I'm going on a date. I'm not applying for a job. But knowing this information can help you win him over. I've been winning men over since junior high, and I never needed a cheat sheet. <laughs> Remember who you're talking to, sweetheart. Anyways, I gotta run. I don't want to be late on our first date. Can you really think this is gonna work? Trust me, Skylar's gonna fall for me like a blind roofer. <laughs> When Gigi sees this happening, she'll fall even harder. <laughs> this burger is raw, but you ordered it rare. Rare, not twitching. I obviously can't have raw meat. Why is it obvious? Look at me. Hello, baby on board. You're a man. I'm a woman. And tonight. We're gonna do what a man and woman are supposed to do. This plate is a lawsuit waiting to happen, and if it causes any harm to my baby... You're pr pregnant? <sighs> oh my God, you really are? <laughs> yeah, your online system is messed up. I'm calling to confirm two tickets for the next showing of Glass Slipper. Balsam. Great. I need two tickets for the movie Glass Slipper. You're not sold out, are you? So you are really going out with Kim? Oh, come on, it's, it's one day. With a total skank. Hey, hey, Kim is a, a great girl sometimes. Yeah, never mind that after two minutes of meeting her, she was standing in my living room calling me a bitch to my face. Yeah, sorry she did that. But, but, but she likes me, at least enough to ask me out. It's not like there are women lined up outside my door. Just because no one's banging down your door doesn't mean you need to settle for the first set of knockers. Well, hmm. well, what am I supposed to do, Gigi? I mean, just wait around for somebody who... Like, okay. All I'm saying is I should go get to know her, see what happens. Maybe she'll surprise me. Oh, I'll bet she's full of surprises. Maybe, maybe you'll have a nice time. Why not? Oh, why not what? Skylar has himself a date. No kidding. Who's the lucky girl? I am. Ready to throw it, Sky? Listen. I can't believe this. Okay. We're, we're gonna have a baby. I'm gonna be a dad. Just, just relax. I think I need to sit down. <laughs> you are sitting. Oh, that's good. But this baby isn't yours. It isn't? Are, are you sure? Positive. How? See, things have been sort of complicated for me lately. Yeah, I know what that's like. I was with Rex once before we, you know, so evidently I was pregnant when we did it. So I guess it's kind of a lucky break for you. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> I mean, I, I'd want kids, but... Yeah, but not someday. Yeah. yeah, not with me. I get it. it listen, I, I hope us hooking up didn't make things more complicated for you and Rex. Actually, at that time, finding you was the best thing that could ever happen. When I asked Skylar out, I was shocked when he said yes. So was I. I figured some lucky girl would have snapped him up already. Skylar's a great guy. It's about time somebody noticed. Yes, he's the best, and he deserves to be treated that way. Don't worry. I'll make sure he's an extra good time. Oh, well, in that case, Skylar, do you have a 10? I can change it up for some singles. <laughs> Honey, nobody gives me singles. Shall we go? Yeah, uh, see you tomorrow. Who's the apron, Morasco? I'm busting you out of here. Cute, but my shift isn't over. Uh, I called Debit. She's taking over for you. You did? Why? We are going out on a date. 
What do you have planned, Balsam? Well, here's a hint. Um, a humble shoe salesman slash shoe designer versus the leather magnate battling for the heart of a model. You're gonna see a chick flick for me. I love you. <laughs> Okay, so there's this really cool haunted hay ride. That huh? sounds great, but darn it, I'm allergic to hay. You know what movie I heard is fabulous? Glass Slipper. I told you, I've never heard of this guy Landers. Even though you were in the same prison at the same time. Okay, John, we've already been over this. Jared kept his head down in prison. He didn't make anybody, so can we just move on, maybe? Finally, we're trying to help Jared. Why don't you take us through the evening's events one more time? Natalie and I made plans to go out. She went upstairs to change. Was she with you when you got the call from Landers? There was no call from Landers. So someone used his phone to call you? I've never spoken to the guy. What about the text message? What text message? The one in Landers' phone to your number that reads, meet me on the terrace. So, was he dead when you got here, or did you kill him yourself? I didn't do this. I didn't kill anyone. Good. Then forensics won't lift your prints from the murder weapon. Uh, no, they will. But only because I picked it up after I found the body. It's true, I watched him do it. What, you think I'm covering for him? No, I think you're telling the truth. But now there's no way to know if Jared's prints were on the murder weapon before you found him. They weren't! God, I am getting sick of this. I think maybe we should get Jared a lawyer. No, Jared doesn't need a lawyer because Jared didn't do anything wrong, and we are going to prove it. So if you need more evidence, feel free, take a look around. But I can tell you right now, there's nothing to find. I was in a bad way when I ran into you that night. Uh, from what I remember, we both were. Yeah, I think we both needed something. Yeah, I just wish I didn't use you to get it. You know, that's actually the day that I decided to come out. <laughs> what, so sleeping with me was your last straw? <laughs> no, I, it, no, it wasn't like that. I, I mean, I always, I always knew that I was, you know, gay. I just, I really didn't want to be. And I convinced myself that if I acted straight, I would be straight. But pretending only gets you so far, and people were beginning to see through me. Yeah. I mean, it'd be hard to tell everybody about something you've been hiding for so long. It wasn't easy, but it's getting easier. And with two major exceptions, my life is better for it. So what still needs fixing? Uh, well, my family, for starters. Uh, plus, I waited so long to come out that I missed my shot with the one guy that I wanted to be with for, like, always. And he's moved on with someone else now. Yeah, it sucks when that happens. You get the popcorn, I'll snag the seats. On it. Is it my imagination, or does Gigi hate my guts? Uh, hate is such a strong word. I thought so. And it's not just because I'm friends with Stacy, either. I mean, did you see her at Rhodey's? It was all she could do not to scratch my eyes out. Yeah, but Gigi's... You know, the thing is, she's, she's really protective of her friends. It's like nobody's good enough for the people she cares about. Is that so? I just have to prove her wrong. Salt and extra butter. It's nice to have a night out, huh?